Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Shane Battier. And I'm going to be honest, I'm excited about Shane Battier for a different reason than y'all might expect. Number one, I have always liked Shane Battier. I was a fan of him growing up when he was on the Rockets when I was a kid, when I was eight years old, just getting into basketball. Um, I am a fan of Shane Batty. I don't even know if I was eight years old. I might have been younger than that. It was a while ago, but I liked Shane Batty growing up. I've always been a fan of his game, and I've always been a big fan of his cards in 2K2 is the main thing. He's always had a lot of good cards, but those cards have always been a little under-leveled, a little budget. This Shane Battier is far from budget. He is a gambling only card, which means he is unattainable pretty much. Um, which means, and obviously I'm not encouraging gambling whatsoever. I've made that very clear, but I am excited to try out this card. I mean, he's the first time we've ever really gotten that I can remember at least a truly top tier Shane Battier card who's like at the top level and he's 6'8", elite, versatile shooting guard. I think he could be a really complete, really great card. Like one of the best shooting guards in the game. Really excited to see this, how good this card is. How he compares to a Andre Iguodala, Ron Artest, T-Mac, Brandon Roy, Kobe, Grant Hill, Gerald Wallace, like the top shooting guards in the game. There's a lot of great ones, but how does he compare to those guys? That's what I want to see. Andrew Wiggins, etc. All those guys. Before we hop into the video, though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, Shane Battier at 6'8", has elite size at shooting guard, 94 offense, 99 defense, 92 driving layup, 92 close shot, 91 mid-range, 93 three ball, 91 free throw, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 85 pass sack, 90 block, 95 interior, 90 97 steel and perimeter defense, 94 speed, 90 speed ball, 90 excel, 97 vert, 90 strength, 97 stamina, and 97 lateral quickness. Um, badge wise, really complete and really good. Fast touch, posterizer, agent three blinders, catch corner, limitless, slippery off ball, anchor challenger, clamps glove, interceptor, pick dodger, post lockdown, brick wall, precision dunker, blow by speed booster, vast feet, right stick grabber, bulldozer, removable enforcer, and 94 feet. Every single important defensive badge in the game, into addition to pretty much every single key shooting, playmaking, and finishing badge. He doesn't have half handles for days. That's the one that I would say he's kind of missing. But outside of that, he pretty much has everything that's super important, in my opinion. The badges he's missing really are not important badges, but if you want to add any of them, feel free. He is one of the most complete shooting guards in the game, though, without a doubt. I knew this Shane Batty was going to be a monster, but animation-wise, if they're good, too, he's legitimately about as good as it gets the shooting guard position in my team. So, drag back is really good. Escape is not. That is one thing to keep in mind, but same side burst is very nice. Bad escape is obviously not an ideal uh, place to be at all. In fact, I think that might be... I think he's got D-Books escape why did they put that on here bro that is so troll okay so his escape stinks outside of the escape everything else about the card is very good his behind the back i guess isn't great either so he doesn't have top tier six so if we're gonna nitpick that is definitely the thing to nitpick um push cross is what is his push cross i literally can't tell what push cross this is i I don't know what dribble style he has. I, I, you have to go look on 2KD because I don't know what dribble style he has, but I wouldn't say it's an amazing one. His animations are not that great in terms of his escape, his behind the back, his dribble style. So in my mind, like he's super athletic. He's a great shooter and he's a great defender, making him a very good card at the same time. He's more Gerald Wallace. I think he's basically, honestly, he's a better version of a Gerald Wallace or a very similar version. I wouldn't say better. He's basically the same card as Gerald Wallace, pretty much. Different release. Both of them are fast releases. I would say he and Gerald Wallace are pretty much the same card, though. Neither of them are primary ball handlers. They're both definitely more so like tertiary ball handlers. Definitely want to surround them with ball handling, but they have great releases. They're big, elite, defensive, super athletic, versatile shooting guard options. That's what this card is, which means he's not the best of the best. He's not Brandon Roy, T-Mac, Ron Artest test kobe in my opinion but he is in that next tier the elite defenders the really good ones honestly that might be where iggy falls as well though iggy i think might be up towards that next tier because he's got a little more playmaking ability i don't know Battier's in the top seven or so at the shooting guard he'll be a great card uh an elite level option right in the mix with all the other top gambling small forwards right in the mix with a guy like wiggins as well uh that's about where this card is gonna fall he's very good no doubt but he's not quite best of the best just because of a lack of shot creation at the same time i'm excited to use the card i think he's gonna be very good so let's hop into a game let's try out shane Batty here in nba 2k 24 my team all right hopping into this game let's get ourselves a pick and pop going i have two ball handlers on the court in this game so shane batty has to do almost nothing as a ball handler and when he's left wide open he's just allowed to cash in for easy three balls we'll take that good start to this game this dude's got lonzo pippen rodman Jokic, and lebron so very good team for sure very good defensive squad especially but we got ourselves a good team i got multiple ball handlers in reeves and our test so batty doesn't have to do much which is exactly where we want him to be which is in a situation to just do exactly this catch 
catch and shoot. Two easy three balls, fast, smooth, easy release, and he knocks those down. That's really his role offensively. He's not going to be out here scoring 20 points a game, but he might get six points off of two threes, eight off of two threes and dunk, that type of stuff. He will do a little bit, and he's going to be an elite level primary defender on the defensive end of the court who can guard anybody. Very switchable, big, versatile. I actually have him at the three in this game, but he can play the two, and either one, he's going to be great at those positions. It just depends on where you need him. He's kind of like, like I said, Iggy. I think Iggy's a little bit above level of this type of card simply because of Iggy's playmaking ability, but like Iggy, Gerald Wallace, those types of guys who are just really, truly phenomenal defenders, even around our test, but Art, obviously our test has elite level sigs and animations as well. So he's uh, above Art, obviously above Batty. Our test is above all those guys because he's such just so good as an offensive player. He's not, he's in a different category, but um, at the same time, I do think great defense, speaking of Ron Artest, making a play. That was a horrible pass. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking throwing that pass? Oh, what in the lob? That was a nuts lob animation that he just caught. That's crazy. All right, well, you got a little lucky with that one, catching that lob. But hey, uh, keeps it a two-point game. Let's see what we can do. Trey escape here, hit our pop. Uh, Battier, we're going to call for a, a screen here, get ourselves a, a little bit of a same side or a nice little burst, get downhill. His escape might not be the best, but if you know how to dribble, you can definitely put it to work. So that deep hook escape is not ideal, obviously. Don't love that animation, but I can live with it. It, it certainly could be worse. Um, so I'm a fan. Shane Battier, like, doing his thing, I will say. Uh, defense obviously he's going to be exceptional didn't really show much of it there he just made a very early dunk that should literally never go in 2k said those would never go in but there you go that one went in and it didn't even bounce around and go in it just literally went in but what are you going to do i guess uh catch here i'm going to call for this and just try to fade i'm fading yep that's open that's green come on oh that's not green are you trolling i sm eight percent contested i guess maybe i didn't smoke it i certain oh my lord and they call it and one batty ace called for the foul contesting Jokic at the rim that's so tough Hoff anchor, Hoff a movement enforcer, Hoff brick wall is a 6'8 dude. He's going to get interior stops more than most guys his size. Uh, and definitely most guys in his position. Stop and pop again. Shano, oh my gosh, bro. I'm selling the game. This is bad. This is really bad. I got to be better than this. I am selling the freaking game right now. All right, Shane, let's play D. I got to play. I got to be better on the offensive end of the court. No doubt about it. But Shane, oh my goodness. He just got an one they didn't call a foul. Oh, that was so lucky that wasn't called a shooting foul. They called it before the hop step, I guess, so that didn't didn't give him continuation, which is good, because I thought I was about to give up an and one dunk. Um, good defense here. I know what you're trying to do. You're just trying to walk underneath the rim. He's just trying to take advantage of the size advantage. Um, get over here. Yo, Cle Austin Reeves, you idiot. You want to go guard your man? Guys, who are we helping off of? What are we doing? You know what? It got to stop. Why am I complaining? Oh, I was going to throw it to Akeem and swing it to Pippen in the, or to uh, Battier in the corner. He was going to have a wide open three, but I guess I'll take the free throws of Psycho T instead. First free throw is early, but it does go down. Thankfully, very important there. That one goes down. Second one is also a very nice. That one's green, easy bucket. And while we're not scoring insanely well, I mean, he's got 10 points, but I've missed a couple shots and we're not, I'm certainly not playing great. I like what I'm seeing, man. I got to put him. I guess I do want him on Braun. Braun is his best ball handler. Like, that's who I want him guarding. He's just backdoors me. Oh, my gosh. Ay, 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 man. Annoying. It is what it is. Uh, burst here. Our test. Attack the rim. Get inside. Back out to Abadier. We got our... Just, he has elite defenders everywhere, honestly. This is not an easy... This is not an easy matchup for Shane Badia. Good pass, though. I mean, the burst... The D-Book escape, I don't think it's good, but it's it's very... It's usable. And I have used it well a couple times in this game to get both a dunk with Badia and then the assist there with Tyre bursting off of that screen. Able to use it pretty well and Tyre burst away from the uh, CPU defense. So very nice job by me, honestly, offensively in this game. And there we go. Make a play then. Akeem Olajuwon. Throw it up to Badia. Badia, come this way. Stop. Dump down. Chill. Reset up top. Back out to Badia. Come set me a good screen here. Attack the rim. Shane. Oh, come on, Shane. Oh, that's a. Oh, I made that. I should have made that. I should have made that. I think I hit the green one on that. Oh, that would have been such a nasty and one contact dunk, too. That would have been, like, legitimately one of my best contact dunks of the entire year. Small green window and everything on the dunk meter, and I missed it. Oh, and I missed the free throw, too. 88%. That's so unlucky. Oh, Lord. Well, that's all right. We'll live with it. Make the second free throw, 88%. That one does go down. Got to hold it down a split second longer, I guess. But darn, that would have been an incredible and one. And instead, it only ends up being one point. Uh, definitely not what we were really looking for there. But you know what? It is what it is. Dude, this this dude's help defense is just not on the right setting. He has his defensive settings wrong. The, um, 
Shout out my boy Jerry. I appreciate him letting me use his account, but his defensive settings are just wrong right now because there is no reason that Tyler Hansbrough should ever be helping out of the corner like that. Hoff Limitless, you better green that. Oh my goodness, I shot a Silate. I suck. I felt it too. I shot a Silate. That was me. 100% that was me. That was not the card at all. I 100% shot a Silate there. I suck. And I'm going to give this dude who should not even be in this game a serious chance to win. I, I don't know what I'm doing this game, to be honest with you, bro. But it is what it is. Same Battier switched on to Jokic. I don't hate that matchup, but you know what? He just got a spin move, jump shot mid-range with LeBron. And I just, I have not played well defensively, but I, have, I haven't played well offensively. I haven't played well. Like, how many just missed shots by me? Really, how, poor defensive plays. Everything has been poor. And yet, we're still in a spot where we have a chance to win the game. Look at Battier, 6'8", finish at the rim, half fast twitch. I love that. Missing free throws, missing wide open threes, multiple wide open threes. I've missed two of them this game, at least maybe even three. You know what? Four seconds left. He, he, bro. NBA 2K24, my team, is just a joke sometimes. I have lost this game myself. I'm not going to complain too much because I should have easily won this game. It is entirely on me that this is a loss. At the same time, that was garbage. I clicked on to Psycho T and everything played it and they didn't. And then I get slowed down. Don't even have a chance to green the shot because I get slowed down. All right. Well, I still think Shane Batty is a stud. 13 points, one assist, five of eight, two of five and three. Two of the misses at least were wide open. That's on me. I missed um, a free throw. I, I just made multiple mistakes. Poor defense regardless. It was just a bad game by me. But Shane Batty is a great card regardless of that bad game by me. Uh, and I hope you all did enjoy the gameplay despite my poor Poor performance, I guess. Um, he's a really good card. He's 6'8 with a very smooth, very fast release. He's super athletic. He can put the ball on the floor as a secondary, tertiary ball handler. And he's an elite level defender. What more could you ask for out of a shooting guard small forward option? Very solid card in my team. Probably not best of the best. Probably not S tier, but definitely A tier at the shooting, at the shooting guard position. Very, very good card. Definitely an elite level option. So, hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.